Good morning, it's Peter here. I thought I would share my testimony today. Don't know why. Easter, we're going through this terrible, unbelievable, tragic affair with this epidemic where hundreds, thousands are dying every day. But anyway, it made me think about <coughs> why I am a Christian and how I became a Christian in the first place. And so I thought I'd share it with you. <coughs> a lot of people, I'm a twin, my brother is Paul. Uh, he, he's a bit of a skeptic, he doesn't think, I think he, he thinks Christians uh, become Christians as a, a way of a, a fallback, as it were, uh, a, a crutch to fall on uh, in times of trouble. I don't know. Well, well, if it's true, I, I don't think it's just a big deal. But anyway, I, I became a Christian many years ago when I was 18, when I was a student at uh, Hornsey College of Art. <clears throat> I met this chap called Barry at the foot of the, well, just as I was entering college, actually, one day, <clears throat> I was a new student, having arrived from Portsmouth College of Art, and I saw this guy reading a book, and I said, what are you, it didn't look like a, you know, or it, it didn't look like an illustrated book, it looked like a, a Bible, actually, and I, I said, what are you reading? He said, I'm reading the Bible. And I thought, what's this guy reading the Bible? What's it? He must be nuts. After a year I, of doing um, my first year graphics, I asked my head of department if I could do the year again because I jumped up a year having moved from Bortham to Hornsey. And Vernon Mills, and he said, Yes, okay, you can do the extra year. And guess who I ended up with? I ended up with this guy, Barry, in the, in the same department. So we, we was a group of about 15 students, and he was in that group. Having, he had done the foundation course the year before. Anyway, I, I keep saying anyway, sorry. Um, I got to know him quite well as a friend eventually because he was interested in music and that's what brought us together. We used to go to the World Festival Hall, listen to Sibelius, he introduced me to all the classics, Beethoven, Mozart, Brahms. And this guy, I knew he was a Christian and he invited me to some of his Bible studies. He had, there was apparently a Christian union at the college, which he, I think he helped to start. So I used to go to these Bible study groups, just inquisitively, to find out what it was all about. So, I remember one particular night in the evenings, we used to go to his house after eating peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> That's what I remember. Now, uh, we, one night during the Bible study, there was this topic. I think it was it was in John um, chapter three we were looking at about the story of Nicodemus. Uh, the story went like this. Uh, all right, chapter three. There was a man. Oh of the Pharisees, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. And the same came to Jesus by night, and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles, that thou dost except God be with him. Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except thee be born again anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. And I remember going away from that Bible study thinking, yeah, it's impossible. How can you be born again? After some months, anyway, maybe a year later, Barry invited me to his church outing, a uh, place called Ashburnham Place. And there's a series of talks by a minister from Liverpool, uh, David Shepherd, and um, not David, Dennis Shepherd, I think it was, not the, not the cricketer. Dennis Shepherd, who was a really nice chap, way down to earth, and he gave this, gave this series of talks for young people, I was about 18, 19, uh, on a series of talks on our relationship with God and our relationship with man and our relationship with the opposite sex. Uh, and he, he went through this, uh, the Old Testament about... The, Adam and Eve, Adam having sinned, and then the, there's this thing about the blood of, the shedding of blood for the sacrifice of sins in the Old Testament, uh, where they, they sacrifice a, a sheep, for, and there was a shedding of blood, which was a sacrifice. And then uh, he explained about Christ. I know I'm jumping a lot, but Christ having sacrificed himself on the cross, and that the fact that Christ was perfect, and that was because he was a born of a virgin. And I never quite understood this business about him being born of a virgin before. And because he was perfect, and that he actually died, on, he was God in a sense, having died on the cross for our sins, he was became the ultimate sacrifice. And... I thought that that makes sense. God, a loving God who created the world, but the world went cockeyed, as it were, corrupted by sin. And then this man Christ came, who was God, sacrificed himself for our sins. And this man, uh, Dennis, said, uh, it was a, a series of talks, and on a Sunday night, I think it was a long weekend, it may have been an Easter weekend. And he said, all you need to do is ask Christ to come into your life. Well, I thought I'd take him up on it, and I did. I bowed the knee, I was kneeling at, at, at the, in, by my bed one night at this place in Ashburnham Place, and asking Christ to come. If it was true that uh, you could be born again, I asked him, I, I asked Christ, I asked for God's forgiveness for my sins, as I knew I was a sinner, and, you know, I uh, asked Christ to come into my life. The next day, I was like in heaven, I was like being born again. And people saw me in the morning and they noticed a change in me that I was smiling and that somehow it was like being lifted up. I don't know how to explain it. My whole life seemed to be changed from darkness to light. And this was so amazing to me. And I've been, since then, I've been doing all sorts of Christian work as well, book covers and stuff. But I, I'm not, a, I'm quite an ordinary guy of just, uh, I feel God's blessed me in a, in a way that, you know, be, I, I don't know why. I, I, I'm just a sinner, just like anybody else. But my life was changed in February 1966. And I can truly say the story of Nicodemus is so true. Unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And it is being born again. Asking Christ to come into your life, just ask him and he will. If you ask him and know, understand that what Christ did for us on the cross. Thank you. Bye.